everyone, Amy here with another aha moment. Recently, I started taking a course by a woman named Mel Robbins. Now, if you don't know who Mel Robbins is, you can go ahead and Google her or look her up in YouTube. She's a transformational coach, public speaker, and has recently um, started her own TV show that is on one of the major networks. I can't remember which one. And during this course, she asked for a participant from the audience that came up and she was gonna do some coaching. And she asked that person, well, what do you wanna do? What is your dream? What are you looking to achieve? And the woman said, well, I, I'm looking to be a documentary filmmaker. And so Mel asked her, have you made any films? And she goes, well, yeah, a few, you know, some for other people and like a small one for myself. So Mel just kind of stopped and looked puzzled and said, well, if you've done it, are you not already a documentary filmmaker? And you looked around the audience and everybody was like, yeah. But in the woman's mind, she was not. And when Mel questioned her as to why she felt that way, she said, because, you know, I'm not... I don't have um, a blockbuster. Millions of people haven't seen my documentaries. Nobody even knows they're out there. But that doesn't mean that you're not a documentary filmmaker, she said. And so it was a huge aha moment. Because I don't know about you, but I, I wanna say suffer from the same feelings. Recently, earlier um, uh, this year, I put out a book called Words of Wisdom, and it is currently available on Amazon if you want to check it out. But when people would ask me what I do, I never felt comfortable saying that I'm an author. Really? I just did this little book, and it's not on the bestseller list, and I haven't sold a million copies, and it isn't, you know, worldwide. Um, so, am I, am I an author? Well, by definition, I am. I've written a book. I've actually gotten it published. And somebody, even one person buying it, makes you an author. Even if nobody bought it, you're still an author. You created a book. But am I? That was what I was grappling with. And so when I heard her give this woman some really sound advice, she told her that she wanted to, um, Mel said she wanted this woman to go back and update her resume, update LinkedIn, and start telling people that she was a documentary filmmaker because in actuality, that's exactly what she, she does. Um, and so it was a huge light bulb moment and I have now put on my LinkedIn and started to let people know when they ask me what I do that I let them know that I am a writer. As odd and as uncomfortable and as awkward as that sounds coming out of my mouth, that I'm gonna do it until I believe it. And so that is my aha moment. And if you are doing something either as a hobby or just something that you're in the process of doing. Maybe it's something like you plan events or help, um, help do photography for sporting events or weddings. And you know, you don't really do it all the time and you kind of just do it for friends. You're still a photographer. So start, start claiming that and put it out there and let people know. And I hope that this aha moment has helped you as it has helped me. And if so, leave a comment below and let me know what you are now going to start telling people that you are, which you are doing, because that's not who you are, but it's what you do, right? So leave a comment below and let me know what you're doing and what you're going to start telling people you're doing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to be notified the next time I upload a video, click that bell icon and you'll get a notification when I upload my next video. Until then, make it a great one.